Hey good people all around the world, this is Nick from OVA Let's Plays and welcome back to Far... to... I keep thinking Fargo is Master Mode because he, he's, he made the mod before before Master Mode came out, but... Uh, Terraria Journey's in Master Mode. Uh, I made some progress. I got the full set of tungsten, so our defense, I think, went from 16 to 20. I almost have the full gold set. I just need the gold legs. So we just need about, ten, uh, I think, 20 bars. 20, 24 more bars of gold. So we're going to try to progress further. We're going to try to reach the edge of the world if we can. And I did find out the wiki did come back up, did came back up, and I found out that that is the graveyard. So not only do you die more often in master mode, but when you die, it creates a tougher condition for you when you're first starting out, especially. I was looking on the wiki, and there's not too many new weapons, and I don't know if they just haven't been updated to the wiki, and there just are more weapons, or the only one I've. I've seen, I think, a Storm Spear, and I've seen, the, of course, Zenith, um, which I do plan on doing the Supreme buff, bo Boss Battle video with that eventually. Um, but I, I was, I was thinking there was going to be a bunch of new weapons, but so far it doesn't seem like there's many. There's a lot of new content, but I don't know. Then again, you know, maybe the, the wiki is just not updated. That could be it, too. It's going to take some time to fully update for people to find stuff and then for, for and then to be updated on it. And I was looking at um, what you get for the um, for being the bosses in master mode is you get this relic thing, which is like a trophy, and then you get a pet. Which is kind of disappointing, really, but considering that it's master mode, I was thinking of, like, new accessories, but... But it is a free update, and they did put a lot of work into it, so I, I gotta try to remind myself of that and be grateful, you know. It is still an amazing game, and, it, and it, I think it always will be. I do like the most the the thing I noticed the most is just the background stuff the most like the background art they worked really hard on that and stuff like this they've added that in um, and then there's one new NPC that I've noticed so far so much faster I'm so glad I got that sandstorm in the bottle because you can if you're going uphill you can go so much faster once I get the lead horseshoe or wings or something, it's going to be good because I won't have fall damage and I can just keep doing that to move faster. But it's so much easier to move around. It's so much easier with this. Get some of these mushrooms. can make more potions and then I can get glowing mushrooms and make better potions. So, Especially since we actually found two life crystals in the last episode. It, you know, that was something. And the trees look, I like these trees here. Oh god, what is that? That, he looks new. He, that, that looks like a new design from the Goblin Scout. My god, I just... I thought he was from the, the, uh, what was it called, the One's Army, or what it was called, with, that has Betsy in it, Old One's Army. I almost never did that event, but, we got the Tattered Cloth, get enough of those, oh, we got to the dungeon, guys, 
Now, I'm gonna try to go ahead and then come back and see if I can find a water bolt. Because if I can find a water bolt, that might be better than the boomerang. Thank God for the climbing class. Okay. Oh wow, living tree. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, I got the other thing I got too. That helps out a lot is I got of course the gym hook. Nope. Oh, I better watch out with that because I can seriously. Hmm. We have enough fine, fine rope. Yeah, we have enough fine rope. Let me check to see if there's a sky island here. Use the tree to our advantage. I have not found a gravitation potion yet. I found the Splunker potions, and that helped out. I never... I, I always underestimated how useful the Splunker potion was, because there were areas that I had explored through, but I just could not see the gold ore. And using the Splunker potion, it just pays off so much. Because I was able to see it, and then it was the same spots I'd been to loads of times. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep. Okie. Okie dokie. Bye bye. Bye bye, harpies. Don't follow me. Whatever you do. But at least I can come back to that later. Aw, oh, man. I was trying to do the boost at the last minute. I really was. Shoot. <sighs> Darn it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, now that we went to the right, we got to the dungeon, we'll go to the left and get to the crimson. We'll try if we can. I doubt we'll make it, but we'll try to explode one of the hearts if we can. You can see, this is going to be a real test of the new defense that we got. Why are there- oh, it's because the graveyard. There's enough gravestones to make a graveyard. Yay! Okie dokie. Stop messing with the cat. He doesn't want to play. You. You. Vulture. Yeah, it's so useful for going uphill. Eventually, when I get the horseshoe, it'll be good. Okay, alright. We're in the crimson. See, like, little things like that with the eyeballs. Eyeball plants going out of the ground. And it looks more red. Like, the background especially looks more red and ominous than it did before, so... Can we do this? Step stool. Huh. That's something new. That is new. That's good. I better keep moving. Mr. Face over here is going to get... Ah. So our new defense is not the best. Uh, but we got a step stool, which is interesting. a violent step stool too. 
Hold up to reach new height. Let's see. Oh, wow. Seems odd, but all right. I can't put it in my social for some reason. I don't know why. That's a weird one. I wonder if it's craftable with anything else. I'm gonna have to check and see. Where's the guy? Oh, he's down here talking to the, the foxy lady. Ooh. Alrighty. Nope, it's not craftable with anything. I might as well just sell it then. I don't really need it for anything. what it sells for because I was looking at possibly getting the squirrel hook and seeing what that's like but that's a lot of money for this yeah two gold oh that sells for one gold that's good then go we got the squirrel hook now so I wonder if it if it works as good as the purple one so we're gonna try the purple one real quick the purple one reaches about to that chest there so let's see what the squirrel one the squirrel one can hook onto trees so that's interesting in and of itself but I don't know if it goes as far though. Yeah, it goes about as far. So this would be worth it then. Let's see if it really does hook on the trees here. That would be cool. Oh, it does. Though, so if like there was a bunch of zombies or something, it could hook onto the tree. Oh, that is useful actually. That is useful. Okie dokie. So, back to the crimson we go. Yay! This might be a short episode, um, shorter than the other one, so I hope you guys don't mind too much. But I, I, I try to, I've been trying to get ahead so I can pre-record these, so just in case if I need to do something and I don't have time to record, that way at least there's one so I can catch up if I have to. I freaking, I, I hate that about them. I hate that. Road. Ah, dodged it that time. Ah, freaking demon eyes, I swear. Every night time, it's like you can't get anywhere. I wonder if I can make a bed, actually. I think I have the... I think I have the cloth for it. I think you need a sawmill, though. That's the thing. I think you need a sawmill. I still have the chains, yeah. So if we make a sawmill... Oh, got another one of these. Oh, I'm already at max mana, guys. I'm already there. We gotta make ourselves a sawmill. I think that's what you need to make the bed. Make ourselves some more cloth. Some silk, I mean. I was thinking about going to the underground to get obsidian with explosives to make the obsidian armor. I, I was really close to doing that, but. Ooh, 
you not have the lead for it? Like, what's the deal? What can we do to change? There we go, there's a sawmill. So we need tin wood. We That's what we need, I think. Yeah, that's what we don't have, the tin wood, okay. Because I want to test out this thing, I think. I can't remember for sure, but I could have sworn I remember reading somewhere that if you sleep in the bed. Oh, no, squirrel, no. There we go. We got enough wood now. I don't know if this was overhaul. I think it was overhaul where if you sleep in the bed, it skips the night time. There we go. All right. Okay, so now we should be able to make our bed. Sofa. How do we make... Ah. Oh, we need more wood, probably. There. Yeah, we just have more wood on that. Okay. I need to make a better axe, too. That's the other part. There we go. Alright, so I'm hoping... I'm really, really, really hoping... Thank God. Okay. So here's where the bed will be right here. Can you sleep to get through the night? Doesn't seem like the night's going by. It just looks like you're sleeping. Like his eyes are closed. It says easy to see. But the night time didn't go by. Uh, well, at least I'll spawn up there from now on instead of down here. On the bright side, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. It was, it was just almost a complete waste of time. Okay, get away from me, Georgie. I don't want to float. Just go away. there guys I'm almost to the crimson biome come on here we go get ready for me to die guys because that's probably what's gonna happen in all likelihood for anything. I'm going to have to go there during the daytime if I do go at all. Like, I thought the, the armor is helping, but it's not enough yet. I have to freaking get gold armor. If this is just to get to the biome, can you imagine how bad the bosses are going to be? Of 
course. Of course. Oh god, see this is what I'm taught freaking ghosts. Freaking ghosts, man. They I've died so like the tombstones show up and then I try to get the tombstones, but then I die uh, basically in the cycle of death down here. I wasn't trying to get the torch, I I thought there was a tombstone down here. There's one. Okay, get that one. That's what, exactly what I mean. You get one tombstone, and then the thing freaking kills you, and then you have, and then it makes another tombstone, and it's just it never ends. I wonder if the money is still down there at the bottom here. Nope, it's not. It's, it's gone. Tombstone, tombstone, tombstone. Alright. I wonder what a corrupted world would look like. Let's let's do that real quick. Small one, master mode, corruption. Okay, here we go. The master, corruption, small. Okay, here we go, guys. Because I, I was gonna create a corruption world, no matter what, either way, because of the worm scarf. I know I'm gonna need it. I like the crimson because the crimson armor and then it's regeneration, but here we go guys. So the other world's a medium world, so this one should be and this one's a small one, so it should be easier to explore. The other thing, too, is life crystals. I should be able to find more life crystals. There might even be platinum on this one. I love the background here. That, that's a new good look at the look at the snowman in the background. 
The attention to detail on the backgrounds is, is one of the best things so far about this update. The work that they put into the backgrounds and everything was really great. Trees look really cool too. I like the way the trees look. Oh, here we go. Climbing claws, yes, awesome. Allows the ability to slide down walls, improved ability to combine with shoe spikes. So I got both of the sets now, so when we get to the goblin creator, can of worms. That's interesting. Oh, you can just get worm bait. Okay. That's not too bad. What's down here? Let's see. I'm glad I'm not playing overhaul right now. You can burn down the whole tree if you set torches. Probably living wood wand and other stuff here. <laughs> wand is sparking. Oh god. Okay. Well, the torches, at least there's one thing. And the two things. There we go. Wait, is that Come on. three things, okay. At least there was three things. Too, because it's a small, since it's a small, um, I'm gonna climb the beanstalk here, go up to the castle in the clouds. Since it's a small world, it shouldn't be quite as tall to get to the sky island. We already were in the space layer. Can you mix ropes and vines? Do I even have rope? Oh, I have death, that's what I'm gonna have. But... Oh, there's a rope. Can you combine? With our forces combined, we can reach the sky. Oh, yeah, you can. And there's death. So I'm gonna explore this world off screen, guys. Um, and hopefully I'll find some more life crystals and things that will help, you know. It's like this is going to help later on this 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 claw will help once I get the gob find the goblin tinker and everything can combine both of them. I'm going to keep the shoe spikes on cuz they got warding on. Lord knows we need that prefix. Oh, darn it. This one's armored though. I'm really debating on Keeping the sandstorm in a bottle. Maybe I'll just keep this on. Because the defense will probably be worth it. But at any rate, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Um, hopefully when we come back, we'll have a full set of gold armor. We'll be able to blow it. And then maybe a couple more life crystals, I'm hoping. And we'll be able to blow up the uh, hearts and the crimson, or in the corruption in this in this world's case. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye, everybody.